Hey everyone, it's Joey from Build Awesome Websites, and today we're going to make a random color generator in just plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So um, let's get started. I am just going to make a new folder on my desktop and call it random colors, colors, colors. All right, then I'm going to open it up in Atom, which is my code editor of choice. And then we're going to go ahead and start creating some stuff. So let's create an index.html file. And we're going to create a CSS and JavaScript file as well. All right, so if you're working in a code editor like Atom, you can very easily just uh, create the skeleton of your HTML just by typing HTML and hitting return. Uh, this feature is called Emmet. So if you don't have Emmet installed, I would highly recommend it. Uh, the way to know if you go to file and you go to uh, settings, you'll be able to see the uh, different packages that you have installed. You can see Emmet is right here. So, so if you want to install Emmet, just click over here on the install tab, search for Emmet, and then install it. So I'm just going to give this a title of random color generator. And then we're going to include a button on our page and we're going to give that button an ID of generate color button and we're going to give it some text and the text is just going to say generate a random color. Next we need to hook up our CSS and our JavaScript so let's do that quick. All right so now that I have everything hooked up I went ahead and opened the file uh, on my desktop here in uh, Google Chrome. So now I can go ahead and start writing the JavaScript for this. Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, talk a little bit about the difference between RGB colors and hexadecimal colors. So you've probably seen hexadecimal codes if you started to work with CSS at all. It's basically represented by a pound sign followed by um, six different letters and numbers, whereas RGB is three comma separated uh, numerical values. Uh, for every number slot um, in an RGB value, you actually have two different slots in the hexadecimal value. So in order to go from 0 to 255 and represent 256 different possible values, uh, in a hexadecimal code you go from 00, 0 to FF. And for example, I could go 00, 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, all the way up to 0F. And then I would start over and I would say 10, 11, 12, all the way to 1F, and so on and so forth. And so for these two values to go from 00, 0 to FF, those would be 256 possible combinations. Just like the R in RGB stands for red, the first two values refer to red, the second two values refer to green, the green channel, and the last two values refer to the blue channel. So the RGB equivalent of 00255, which means the red is turned all the way down, the green is turned all the way down, and the blue is turned all the way up. Uh, the equivalent to that in... Um, a hexadecimal value would be 0000FF. I'll link to an article uh, that relates to uh, hexadecimal and RGB values. For this particular tutorial, I'm actually going to stick with using hexadecimal values rather than RGB, and I'm going to show you how we can do this quite easily. So I'm going to create a function. We're going to have a constant at the top, and it's going to be an array of all the possible values that we can have inside of each slot of a hexadecimal code. So again, 0 through F. As you can imagine, if we generate a random color, we just need six different random values from this array. So uh, how can we do that? Well, we need to loop through this array six times and grab a, grab a random value. So a simple for loop that we're looping through uh, six times. All right, so now we're going to go through and grab six random values from our hex values array here in order to construct our he overall hex value. So how can we do that? Well, um, one thing that uh, you may know or may not know about arrays is you can grab items by their index. So if I say hex values at index zero, um, I could do that syntax like this. I could say hex values 
And then this is called bracket syntax. So I could say hex values at index zero. And this would be the first item in the array. If I said hex value at index one, it would be this item. And obviously they match in terms of uh, the numbers, but once you get up to A, so if I said hex at index 10, that would grab me the A value and so on and so forth. So we just need to pass basically a random index in here between index zero and index 16. Well, since this uh, array has 16 possible values, one thing we're gonna need is the length of this array. And then all we need to do is multiply that by some kind of random number between zero and one. Because if I say 16 times 0.5, for example, that would give us the eighth uh, index and that would grab the number seven. So let's go ahead and uh, generate that random index finder. Say So I'll say let random index and I'll set that equal to the length of our array, which is 16, as we said before. And I just need to multiply that by a random number between zero and one. And luckily in JavaScript, there's a function for this called math.random. And I'll show you that math.random is a function that returns a floating point. Um, if I actually go into the browser here, I can say math.random, and you can see it gives me that number, and if I keep running it, it's just gonna keep giving me this number. As you can see, this is a whole bunch of digits. So if I say 16 times math.random, you can see this time it gives me that number, this time it gives me one point something, this time it gives me zero, this time it gives me eight point something. So if I pass this whole thing into um, math.floor, you can see now it's giving me eight. Now it's giving me eight, now it's giving me four, now zero, now 10, now 11. So it's always giving me a value between zero and 16. So that's what we have going on here. So now that I have that random index, I can just grab a value at the random index. Next, what I want to do is concatenate these basically all into a string. Inside of this random color function, the first thing I'm going to do is set up a variable. And I'm going to say let hex equal, and it's just going to be an empty string uh, with, with the pound sign already in it. So as you know, hex values have a pound sign followed by the six values. So when we get to this for loop, what we're going to do is we're just going to concatenate that value onto our hex here. So I can say hex equals hex plus a random value. And then when we're all done, this is going to return our hex. And since we're automatically running the function here, let's go ahead and go back to our browser and refresh. I probably need to actually console log it to work. That'd be helpful. All right, so let's see. So as you can see, I'll just keep clicking refresh and we're getting like a random value every single time. So the final thing we need to do is simply, uh, you know, put that color somewhere so we can actually just append it to the body of the document here. Um, I'm gonna create a click event um, on this button that I created here. And so I'm gonna grab the ID from the button. So the final piece of the puzzle here was to grab that button as I mentioned, and then the line below that, I'm creating an onClick function on that button. And inside of that function, I'm basically setting the document body style background color equal to the random color function that we created, which returns the hex value. So that's how we create a random color generator. So there we go. We have a random color generator. And what would actually be kind of nice if this button was always like centered in the screen. Um, and that's about it.
If you like these kind of tutorials on how to do things with just vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript so you can uh, get better at your front-end development skills, give it a like and a thumbs up, and let me know maybe what else you would like to see me make a tutorial on in the comments below. Is there anything related to either JavaScript, HTML, or CSS that you're struggling with or you want to know more about? Just uh, comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.